Hey guys, I'm Sebastian from Performance Place. I'm gonna reiterate some of the easy fine points of mobility and stability today with this pair of scissors. I was looking for a good example around the office here, uh, and scissors actually work pretty well. And so what we're looking at here is uh, the scissors, we have, I think we can all agree, one area moves a lot, okay? And it's the pivot point right in the middle. So that's our mobile segment right there. By the way, if you're not sure about what, exactly what I'm talking about, go back to the other video that, that we already did about mobility stability. And so this is the area that's mobile. Now imagine that this area has arthritis in it, or it has lack of mobility, or it has impingement. But let's just say it has rust, okay? If it has rust, it's not gonna move. And imagine it's really rusted up, like this pair of scissors, you found it in the dirt somewhere that they're about like, you know, 60 years old, and then you decide to use it, and this area is not moving, eventually you break this handle, okay? If you break this handle, it's because all of your force to try to, try to scissor, now, now no longer goes through here the mobile section that the scissors have to find a new mobile point and it doesn't really have a good one and so it tends to pick something. The most brittle part here that breaks is called the energy leak. And so the energy leak here tends to hurt because it broke in this case. And so this is what a lot of people end up finding things like uh, low back pain, knee pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, things like that. Um, these areas are the energy leaks that we're talking about when all we really have to do in this model is improve or WD-40 this area up with some exercises that we just do throughout the day. And then we have to duct tape this area up now that we broke it a little bit to create some stability. And then we have functioning scissors again, okay? So I hope that makes some really easy sense. It really just is simple as that. We don't have to get overly complicated with things. We just have to do the right exercises to the right spot, the right exercises to the right spot, and then load the system to make sure it's not gonna break when you do something like play basketball again or run, because a lot of people tend to shy away from that stuff thinking they shouldn't be using their scissors when the whole purpose of scissors is to cut. So if you wanna have fun in life, start using your scissors a little bit better. So hope that was helpful to you guys. Uh, if you've watched this video on YouTube, um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We have lots of videos that come out every single week, and um, we do our best to provide the best information you can on the internet. So hope that was great, and I'll see you guys next time.